Ever since arriving in America for the first time, from the deserts of Oregon to the Alamo in Texas, I have been wanting to buy some western wear and live out my cowboy fantasy. And now that I'm in San Antonio, I've got the opportunity to do exactly that. So join me as I go shopping to update my wardrobe and transition to cowboy country. Now we're talking. <laughs> They're very elaborate, look, and designs on them. How do you find your size in cowboy hats? Like? I've just been trying some different ones on to see, but... Hard to tell. Seven and, seven and a half, I think. Mm, but loose. My first foray into Western wear at a San Antonio shopping mall was a daunting experience and ultimately led to failure. There were so many cool and beautiful things on display, from boots to hats and buckles and belts, and I didn't know where to start to be honest. I was very intimidated and, as a consequence, I didn't buy anything at all. The next day though, I was taken by one of my viewers to a shop called Paris Hatters. I have reached the Mecca of Cowboy Hats. This is the place. This is the famous place. Paris Hatters. Well, this is now like a cutter. Mm. And you can tell in the horse show world even what events people show in by the way they have their hats tied. Well, this place has got... Yeah, they've got all kinds of hats. Yeah. Definitely want to get a Stenson because they're the classic. I just need to get... See, I... Adi, did you research Yeah, that is the, the original cover yeah, hat. Yeah. $350. Paris Hatters is a world famous shop, founded in 1917 and family run ever since. The shop claims to have the largest range of cowboy hats in all of America, and has served customers including Johnny Cash, Matt Damon, Paul McCartney, and even Pope John Paul II. This is more traditional. Okay. And this is going to be more. But I like them too, but I don't know. Sorry. Look at me. Does that like a hand crank? Yeah, a uh, crank. Wow. Uh, two, a uh, 302. Following a fitting and some help and shaping from the guys at Paris Hatters, I was delighted to buy my very own Stetson, even if it did cost me a mortgage. That's my hat bought, Paris Hatters, famous shop here in San Antonio. It's a classic shop. And I finally got a proper cowboy hat. So I'm excited, I'm happy for that. Good momentum from Texas. Admittedly, it is more of an Australian style outback hat, or so the folks at Paris Hatters said. And it's made from felt, but I thought this would be more appropriate for the types of places I'll be wearing it, which is mostly Scotland. Proudly fitted with my very own cowboy hat and bolo ties, that were kindly gifted to me from a viewer in Arizona, I did feel like there were still pieces missing. So while I was visiting Houston, my friend Mark took us to a place called Cavender's, and I was in awe of some of the Western style shirts and other items they had on offer. I think I found it. It's a little bit tight on the buttons, look. This is some shop. Wow, well, I wish I had more time, I'd be here. I'd be spending some time here. Thank God. We have to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very patient with you when we go to shop. <laughs> no, but actually not. <laughs> even even closer, so we I, I can lose a couple of pounds we'll be alright. Mm -hmm. Well, I can wear it as a jacket look. I'm trying to sell it here. <laughs> it's a versatile look, it's a jacket and it's a shirt. And it's western style. It looks nice as a I jacket. Wear it with my cowboy belt. Oh my god. And my hat. <laughs> Got the whole gear. Big shot. Big shot, yeah. Wow. Find another one. Another western one I like. And it's nice. I think they've got pop buttons. They're quite easy to in and out, right? Either large or extra large. I like that. Yeah, that one's fit better in the same size. See, it's crazy. Big variation in the size of America. Everywhere is like that. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Different brand, different yeah, different, different brand. Material. Yeah. Material softer. softer, yeah. Yeah, I like that. That looks good. That's better. Western style. 
I like that colour, but it's probably a bit too out there for you, right? <laughs> it's your choice. <laughs> I think blue is more your colour. Blue is more your colour. Yeah. What? Because this one's a bit tight and it worries me. Which one? Okay, we both. Ah. I don't even think you'd find this type of stuff outside of Chicago. I won't find it in Chicago or mm. New York, so this is like a unique place for me. I don't know what you like. I prefer the blue, but you can buy whatever you want. What? Not sure. I just shop in Sean. Quick. I'm not going to buy the boots, but I'm going to look. Mm. All the way back to Texas just to go shopping. <laughs> and with an extra suitcase. I'm just looking because I can't fit them in my suitcase, I'm already packed out. <laughs> I'll think about it. No, I got plenty of time. <laughs> They're cool. Look, so many different design. Look at that design. That's so elaborate. That is beautiful. I really would love to buy some cowboy boots, but I'm afraid I might get divorced. Yes. But these ones. Look at that. Look at that. That is epic. That is like crocodile skin. I don't. Probably real crocodile skin. Definitely get divorced. Um, I'm just having a quick look. I'll show you some of the things they have here. I mean, they are. I'm going to the dance. I'm going to dancing. I'm going line dancing. What kind of dancing do you do here in Texas? It's not line dancing. It is. I have no idea. It's not a jig. Smart as anything. Fire the blue. Anyway, we need to get going. Yes. Yeah, so uh, I couldn't help myself. I had to get some more stuff, right? While we're here. This is like this is like proper souvenirs that I'll keep forever. In the end, having bought myself a hat, belt, and a number of shirts, and of course the bolo ties, the only thing missing from my arsenal is a pair of cowboy boots. But the only reason I didn't actually buy any at the time, to be honest, is they were very expensive, and at this stage of the trip, I was on a tight budget. Any suggestions of getting a pair of my very own cowboy boots at a fair price, much appreciated. But for now, as you can see from the photos, I've been making good use of all of this gear while back home in Scotland. And I think I might have even found my own fashion style. Tartan Cowboy! So how about that? Join me in the next episode where I get a tour of the Alamo and receive an amazing surprise.